I stand amazed in his presence. How I wish I could describe this God in a given sentence. The creator of the cosmic enterprise. Who can change life with just a single surprise. He commanded the light. Crystal, he became bright. Out of the darkness, he gave birth to light. Captured and manufactured in great delight. The Lord who spoke all creations into existence. For instance, he created the heavens and the earth. Man became a living being by the virtue of his breath. The Lord who raptures the earth with a mighty flood, but mercifully saved the world with his precious blood. He is not from my lineage. Yes, so he created me as his own image. The striking, breaking boom. Who heals the broken hearted and binds their wounds. He takes the least, plants him on the golden seat for battalions to come and feast because the universe is the emblem of his feet. He loves whoever, whatever, however, wherever, and establish him on the land of the living forever and ever. See, anytime he speaks, all entities become meek unless he empowers the weak you will forever remain bleak the scripture expresses the picture of his true nature that is a very cup which does not run dry the ancient of days he never lies always the way the truth and the life history recalls him as the strongest tower the righteous runs to him and are saved within an hour because he's the god official the self-acclaimed ones are just superficial buried in deadly credentials they die with no evidence of their existence their inabilities define their incompetence unlike you clothed much competence versatility no literature can attain such definition insufficiency words are too limited to establish your description immortality your name is clothed in absolute revelation infallibility your chronicles permeate from generation to generation you acknowledge all things in the dark yet you are the light the charm and the great might all arsenal surrender to your ever charming light i remember when you descended in human form travail and submitted to human norms yet you could not wait to silence the dreadful storm your name defines your authority your throne defines your sovereignty and all activists testify to your undoubted creativity because you are the most talked about personality in every conference the alpha and inference whose dexterity is proven with empirical evidence you are the same today tomorrow and the most documented opium for generational reference so we are the sons and daughters of light we give no space to darkness we are the candidates of light all permission grabbers, authorities are bred, growing from out of our bellies, we flow, by his commands, we go, for we know the out of the mouth of babies and sucklings, he has then praise to silence the fowler, for he has made us kings and priests unto God the Father, see my heart is stirred for a noble theme, as I recite this for the holy king, for my tongue is the pen of a skillful writer, like Abraham we are moving away from the proximity of darkness to the direction of the spirit to a lad he will show us, like Moses, tell Pharaoh we are coming back so strong at him because we encountered the consuming fire. Like Samuel, we are the priests before the altar, taking instructions from the great monarch to change our world. Like Paul, tell them we leave the past behind to chase the glory ahead. Like David, by God, we run through troops and we leap over war. Like Paul, we leave the past behind to chase the glory ahead. Like John, tell them even in Patmos, we become stronger and stronger. My heart is still for a noble theme as I recite this for the holy king for my tongue is the pen of a skillful writer sound of the sofa is blown and the assembly of the nation shall be for the lord for the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell in it he found it upon the seas and established upon the waters who shall ascend unto the hill of the lord who shall dwell in his holy place he does got clean hands and a pure heart he does not lift his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessings from the lord and righteousness from the god of his creation so we are never disadvantaged in this world for the spirit also helps in our infirmities with intercessions which can never be uttered so when words fail us we graduate into tongues and we speak at all thank you very much